So the train I'm about to hop us on is the insecure train real quick. So episode four. Let's do it. Episode four. How we feeling? Are we are we are we back? Like, okay, insecure, you got me back. Cause I know even last week we were still kind of like, mm, maybe. Or at least I liked it. But I know a couple of were kind of mm, maybe. What do you think of DeWan? I don't feel like this feels like a finale season to me. Really? Okay. Yeah. I, I like I feel like these are just like regular okie doke episodes that are great mm. in their own right. But I I and maybe it's maybe it's if I check maybe my own biases on this, maybe I'm just like, I'm so, I'm putting so much of my own expectation and what I want this to be. Yeah. Like I want every, like I want every episode to be like, I want to be crying. I want to be laughing. I want to be oh, screaming. I want, okay. I want, I want it all to be like that because yeah, yeah. it's the last damn season. And so yeah. I, I feel like a, like a twinge of disappointment after every single episode because my expectation yeah. is there and that's my own doing. I'm, I'm putting yeah. that expectation out there. So the episode was, was great. It was, it was super entertaining. I love the, that the, the whole kind of like cat and mouse game between Issa and Nathan and, mm -hmm. you know, both of them coming to, to terms at the end about, um, you know, that, that they just need to, they just need to like be vulnerable yeah. and, and take a chance. And I felt like that was just such a really moving, um, part of the, the the episode and i loved seeing like everybody having fun and you know being at the cookout on the beach and like yeah. that was just dope um but yeah like that episode kind of like hit the nail on the head for me in terms of like i think my expectations for what i want out of these remaining episodes in this final season it's are far outweigh the actually wanted. it's yeah yeah what about you, you? Uh, i feel very <laughs> similar um, I will say though, like, I feel like this is the first episode that we got more of a Nathan, Nathan, Nathan story. Like mm -hmm. he was in the whole episode, like even to the point of bringing his cousin in where we didn't know he had family in the area and stuff like that. And, you know, bringing up, you know, where he didn't, you know, time before he didn't know he was manic and stuff like yeah. that. And just, you know, seeing, you know, a black man, you know, still navigates, you know, you know, mental ish, you know, mental, you know obstacles issue. like that yeah. you know as well too you know um so i, I like i like that dynamic other than that i was kind of i was kind of mad like i just i don't know i didn't i didn't think all that of it mm -hmm. um but i did love that scene where molly was like hold hold on hold on i got you <laughs> Risa, are you fucking nathan <laughs> Cause that's how I'll be. <laughs> that's why I shared. That's why I shared. I was like, I'm that auntie. I am. Uh, that, I, that, I am that, that friend. Was, that was that was best friend vibes though. That was like yeah. back oh, to the old. For real. That was like back to the old Kanye. You know. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. And I, I I lived for that moment, but I also lived for like also seeing Molly in this episode be free. Mm -hmm. You know, and she was just like, oh, oh, that nigga said he got a cat. <laughs> hey, so I'm right with you, right. you know, yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. you know, and it and it, it was less of a, like, should I fuck him? Should I do this? I don't yeah. know. You know, she was just, you saw a little, you saw her take a little bit of control and be like, this is what I want, you know? She was less worried about the perception of what her yeah. acts are doing and just doing what she wants to do. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And I, and I, and I felt that as far as Issa's character though, I'm not feeling where she's going. Like it's, it's, heavy on the insecure parts of Issa, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm and and I hate the fact that like so far when we've seen her, it's like she can't win, you know? And it's very much like season one, Issa not being able to win, like to the part where, you know, like the, they were clowning her at the, in the school when the kids were like, oh, you know, blah, 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 yeah. you know? Um, you know, like to the dating issues to Nathan and all this stuff, like she was taking so many L's in the first season. And I feel like they're doing that again this season where she's taking a lot of L's, mm -hmm. um, especially with that artist, you know, coming for her on Twitter and stuff like that. You know, yeah, I'm just yeah. like, I like, I really didn't I, like that didn't need to be a whole thing. <laughs> but you also see that quite often about black people, black people, you know, you know shit on other black folks you know being like yeah. oh they a cop out you know you know they're you know they're you know they they here to please the white man and stuff like that they they're not really right. down so i i kind of appreciate it but i just hope they don't milk that shit too much 
See, and it's interesting to hear the reasons why you guys didn't maybe as enjoy it as much, or maybe the expectations of it might be whatever. I kind of enjoyed this episode and maybe even this season because it's not doing too much <laughs> that is literally playing it to regular ass life because like it's very few moments in your life where you have these melodramatic moments, you know, every day is kind of like these ra random L's or these random stepping stones and things like that. And so for me, I was like, okay, the whole series hasn't been like too much of a dramatic thing. It's like each episode you kind of see why they're doing or coming to to where they're at. And I'm kind of glad it's kind of that pacing. It sucks because I'm like, damn, it is the last episode, though. So I kind of get the energy we're doing. You're like, oh, I kind of want so I want I want to cry, damn it. But then I was like, hold on, hold on. They're don't giving me much. exactly what they want. Just wait. Show, though. <laughs> <laughs> right. And, yeah. so, and, and it's kind of interesting, too, just like the the how you connected like East of this season to season one. I kind of like the story because it just shows like she leveled up and there might be some insecurity sometimes when you level up and like recalibrating your footing and things like that. But like, damn, okay, I haven't been on this level yet. And so I might be a little uneasy. I might have been cool when I was like at the we, we got y'all level. But now I'm at, with these corporate business. Damn. Okay, can I be myself? Can I not? Oh, damn, I rubbed them the wrong way. Now I'm getting these L's. And I feel like that's real life. It's just like sometimes when you level up, you might have these insecure moments and in in things like that. And you feel like you've taken these L's again. You're like, damn, I thought I overcame that. Like, I thought I was on I my agree, shit, but know? they hit us with a flash forward. And that's the part that yeah. messed, that makes me <laughs> upset. Like, yeah. Yeah. they didn't flash forward and everyone is striving. And everyone's doing all this stuff, but we don't see that from the main character. Like, in that abundance. just don't... Right, in abundance, in, as in Kelly abundance. said. Everyone that's right. social is thriving in, in abundance. abundance. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, but, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, like, just like, I, I didn't I didn't like that. I just, yeah. you know, if you're going to do a flash forward, I would love to see some growth from all characters, mm -hmm. you know, like yeah. show me something, you know, and it's for her to be just as insecure as she was in season one. I'm just like, see, like I don't know she is like, I feel like she's insecure in a different way. Like, I don't think she's insecure about the same insecurity she had in season one. I feel like she's insecure because she's working on a larger level. I didn't and say the same things. I like, just said as much. So right. definitely different things. But the, the amount of insecurities that she has in her mm -hmm. life is very similar to number one. Season one, she was insecure about her job. She was insecure about her man. This last episode is literally the same thing. She was insecure about the, the shit she was dealing with with her work with that artist on Twitter and mm -hmm. insecure with a man named Nathan. Okay, I hear you, boo. I just, I just see a difference. <laughs> uh, well, well, holy spoiler alert! Because I just right. started episode one, and y'all just <laughs> fucked this up for me. All the, well, no, right. I literally, Thanks I'm about to rewatch you know all the insecure again. Goodbye. <laughs> right, delete, delete. <laughs> I don't. And normally, I do a spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. <laughs> we about to watch the insecure. Um. So we'll oh see what the goodness. next episode. I mean, again, the bundles were looking good in this episode. Yeah. The clothing were looking good. Like clothing so, clearly their good. budget. The lighting was amazing. Girl. The music is amazing. It's. it's I can't wait it's, for that soundtrack. Great. I'm gonna miss the music. I that's that's one thing I am really gonna miss about the show is the it's new. Like, yeah, yeah. They yeah. Good the music. They just good. do yeah. such a yeah. good job. Yeah. I'd be like trying to suggest, like the credits come on. I'd be like, oh, who this is? Right. Shazam. Like, Seriously. and they'd be like, oh, this came out in 2016. I said, I know. That's what I missed. Oh, I missed this song. There was a song in this episode that I Shazam, and it came out in 2020. I was like, damn. And then I was like, well, I was, I was, I wasn't looking for nothing. I was just trying to work stay alive. Yeah, <laughs> worked, worked and busy. Exactly. Hello, but my life. <laughs>